Hi, I'm not yet dead, and welcome back to Erlengrat. So, uh, if you remember from the last episode, uh, we just made some TMR and fed the cows, and uh, I just finished filling up the manure spreader, so pff, guess what we're going to do? We're going to spread some manure! Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Because um, I think I might have mentioned the, uh, the field is apparently on, on this lower section is ready to, uh, to cut. Um, I'm going to leave it to grow a bit more. Um, but, um, but yeah, that basically means that we can't um, fertilize it, which is a bit of a shame. As you can see, it's only spreading on the, on the actual field boundary uh, that, um, that isn't ready to harvest. And that's the, that was the key thing for me, was to get this done reasonably quickly so that I don't risk it growing so fast that uh, actually we seem to be missing bits. The spread graphic, the animation, seems to spread further than it actually spreads. So we've got a boundary at the edge of the field. Either that or it's a field boundary issue. That's a bit strange, but never mind. It's not the end of the world. When it grows next, it will get rid of that anyway. Wow, uh, this is quite a big field. Okay, so actually, it may be that we don't have enough uh, between the manure and the slurry that we've got to, uh, to do the entire field. This is gonna take quite a bit of reloading. It does mean though, I may as well finish the manure I've got before we go and get the, um, the slurry. Um, You've seen me refill this thing with the bucket quite a number of times. We did the lower field with it uh, a few episodes ago. That said, there's not that much manure, so this might only take me a minute or two. And it only has a capacity of 3,400. So to be honest, this is less loading than when we did the, uh, the, the um, silage for the food mix for the last episode. But I do already have uh, ready leased the, um, the slurry spreader as well. So we'll use up the manure that we've got. It'll gradually rebuild. There is a bit more straw still in the, uh, in the pasture. So they will still keep making more, but we'll use up what we've got. Then we'll go get the slurry spreader. We'll use up what slurry we've got. And then, well, frankly, we'll see what's left. Um, it might be that I'll need to do a little bit with uh, just top it up with some mineral fertilizer. Uh, but as far as we can, we'll use what we've got. A, because well, we get to use the fun equipment, and B, because uh, it's cheaper. Some very good reasons. Um, what we'll also do today, I think, we'll probably have time as well, is uh, talked about the last episode, we'll go sell some milk. Best price from the two sort of unusual sell points, if you like, was, um, was the, the cheese. So we'll go sell at the cheese factory first. Um, and um, and then hopefully the price was rising at the chocolate factory, so with a bit of luck, uh, by um, by the time we've done that, that would have maxed out at a slightly better price. There wasn't a lot in it; it's not too big a deal. But uh, you know, but whoop, see, sorry, worth getting the best you can. That's not cool. That's better. Now that probably is, that's three loads, so that won't be far off being full. To be honest, we may as well empty the, the old uh, pit, pit bunker, whatever you call this. Uh, and that might nearly fill it. Each bucket is slightly less than a thousand. Uh, this takes three thousand four hundred. So this might be about right, actually. There might be a tiny scrape left still in the bucket. It may not take all of it. Let's see. It did take all of it. Interesting. I need to clean that bucket now before we start cleaning outside as again. Um, ba -ba -da. Ooh, look. Where, what's that? 83 litres off being full. Um, yeah, I did, I, did I put a water, a, like a, a jet wash or something in? I don't think I did, did I? Uh, I'll have to look and see what there is. Whoops, steady on. Uh, 
Come on, hurry up. It's probably not best to do it in corners, really, you know, going around the corner with it, really. Just try and just make it as efficient as possible in terms of usage. Yeah, it's base game. You don't have to burn through manure quick in base game. We need uh, precision farming on, to be honest, to uh, to make it slightly more efficient. But yeah, the animation seems to spread further than the... Uh, oh, I'd never noticed the moving plate before. How could I not have noticed that? So that actually pushes the... It helps to push the manure as well as the belt at the bottom. Hang on, let's try that. Unfold it, put it on. Oh, it won't do it because it's not in it. So it's got a belt at the bottom. It's also got a plate that pushes it into the spreader thing at the back. That's quite cool. I never noticed that. How could I not have noticed that? That's really bad. Anyway, right, let's go get the slurry spreader, pick that, that attachment, and um, we'll carry on. Wait for this car. Okay. I do love this thing. I need to find a map that I can use this on. I think it's awesome. It's quick. It's nippy. Could it be quick and not nippy? Not sure. Uh, anyway, it is. Um, and, uh, you know, multiple little attachments. So if you're using precision farming, the manure would go further. You know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can mow and pick up grass with it, you can spread manure, you can spread slurry, you can... It's just... Brilliant. Why can I not seem to switch the indicators off? Switch off the indicators. I've only just noticed these, actually. They're quite cool. So the indicators are off. Oh, weird. Okay. Very confusing. Right. Okie doke. Yep, I'll have that. I have no idea what the capacity of this is. 3,200. Okay, there were a couple of options. You could have it with a spreader plate or with a drag hose. I got one with the drag hose. May or may not necessarily be more efficient. I don't think we need those on anymore. Uh, we'll see. I think what we'll do is, because I didn't really... Well, actually, you know what? It's fine. I was going to say I didn't quite finish you know, because I kept running out at the same point, so I've sort of got a stop point uh, where we don't have enough. Let's unfold it. I didn't check the width of it, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, 10 metres, OK. Ah, oh, mind you, but... Is that varied with the drag hose? It's not a separate thing, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm not going to worry about coating every single piece of it 100%. This is nice though. It's a lot more accurate than the uh, using the manure spreader, that's for sure. The animation just didn't didn't quite gel for me a little bit. I think what we'll do is we'll just do up to wherever it was we'd ended, or at least a reasonable point, and that could be as much as here, to be fair. Uh, go back and just do this section in the lower part of the field, because actually we're not going to have enough. Uh, we will need to use mineral fertilizer anyway, so um, you know, may as well do it in sort of sections and uh, not worry about the bit where I'd run out. There'll be a tiny little bit left, uh, about a thousand liters or so, which oh, we may as well use. Maybe it'll be enough to finish off this corner or something. Um, why not? And as I said before, when we um, when we run out of straw, we'll um, we'll leave. I should sort of give myself a run up, get up to speed, and then switch it on because you know you start using it as soon as you're there. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so when I run out of straw, I'll leave it so they're just producing slurry, um, and that would uh, that will give us a little bit extra slurry, so we can get a little bit more use out of this. 
1120, just over a thousand litres. Awesome. The light's on, it's brightened up though. I don't really need it now. Still a bit cloudy, but better than it was. Crop's still damp, but that's okay. But I've got grass anyway, so it'll make a lot of difference. So I say we'll try and get this bit finished off at least. Beautiful. I'll live with that. This bit. Nice. Now, can we do these bits that we missed? Actually, I suppose it'd be quite useful to do this bit because, of course, the spread of the uh, of the fertilizer spread uh, is spready. And therefore, it would make sense to finish off these narrow spaces so far as we can. That should be about right. Actually, that's not bad, is it? There we go. That'll do for now. Yeah, nippy little thing. Oh, I rather like this. This is cool. Yeah, I definitely need to start using this. I'm not sure which map, though. Maybe when things uh, carry on a bit further forward, he says, without wanting to say too much on, um, on uh, Farmer's Life, on uh, Spectacle Island, or, uh, you know, I, as long as it's not slot crazy, I could even see me using this on No Man's Land. Probably not on... How many slots is it? 20. Oof. Five... 10, 30 slots. It's not silly, but it's not like it's the only slurry or manure spread I'd use because of its size. It's pretty cool though. Put an expansion tank behind it or something, that'd be all right. If you can, I'm not sure you can. Anyway, uh, right, that's that. So I think now we need to finish that off with uh, the mineral fertilizer. So I'll do that. Why well, don't this will take long? So I filled it up. Plenty left. I put it all in because chances are, you know, this is going to need another level of fertilization, and hopefully, I'll get a chance to do it this time um, before we next cut it. So, uh, yeah, that should, you know, we shouldn't need to lime anything for a while. Ah, I was going to say, interestingly, it didn't lime right to the edge of the field, but that would be because I didn't cut it. So as I mentioned before, if you've not cut it, it won't lime, you know, if it's fully grown, it won't lime. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky having done it like this, because there's going to be bits of the field now that have multiple levels of fertilisation. See, one bit's already fully fertilised, it's just going to be a bit annoying. But never mind. It just gets a bit messy. And of course, it's got a rather large spread, but uh, it's all good. So I'll take long. And then I think next, we'll go sell some milk. Because to be honest, well, actually, you know, there are things we can do. Um, I mean, I could do some contracting for a start. Um, I've still got some seeds sitting in a um, oh, what they call it, thingy, what's it, Uja Flip, um, you know, one of them, yeah, um, so uh, if there's any seeding contracts around the early summer, that's unlikely, more likely to be getting into harvesting contracts, but you know what, for a bit of variety, we could do a bit of harvesting, uh, could buy another field, this big, I'd love to buy this field here, it's a nice bit of grass, isn't it? Um, so maybe we'll do that, but equally, I mean, it's just more grass work. Uh, be nice to do some harvesting for a change. Wanting our grass to grow at least one more growth stage, we've got two bit, two, one field and one bit of this field that are ready to go. But yeah, quite like it to uh, to grow a bit more before we do that. Um, but yeah, equally, as I mentioned earlier, 
a uh, couple of loads of milk wouldn't be a bad idea. So uh, we'll just put that there, out the way. I do like that brewer. Again, good to use it elsewhere. It gets a bit tricky though, there's just so much good equipment to use. I'm also very conscious of quite a lot of base game stuff I haven't used, so. Uh, right. What would be good? Probably not the little baby tractor. Let's take the mid, the middle ridgy track. I'll, um, after this video, um, I'll probably break and uh, finish out the day and I'll sell the Josk and I'll take it, I'll take it down to the store, get, um, you know, to get a better price for it if I take it down to the store. Now, I think milk is around the side here. Yep, looks like it. Milk churns are there. Wow, now we've got 22,000 already. Is that why? Actually, no, no, it was 21, I think, last time I looked. It's pretty good. So, just double check. Ooh, price is dropping at the Kasserai Erlengrat. It's still better price at the grain mill, to be honest. But it's not too bad still, so let's go there. Um, and then uh, price is still going up at the chocolate factory, so that's cool. We'll go there next time. I'm not 100% sure where it is, I'll be honest. But it's in the middle of the town, it shouldn't be that hard to find. Uh, so let's go there first. So I was half expecting, I was just thinking, there's, every time I drive down here, nearly always there's a car coming up. And this time there wasn't. I was just thinking, I better watch out, because there'll be a car coming. And there wasn't at all. There he is. Told you. Where are you going? You're going that way too. Okay. He did have his indicator on, to be fair. I just didn't see it. Train should been through. Just give it a second for the barriers to rise. Oh, perfect timing. Look at that. Now, where is the Kasserai as opposed to the chocolate factory? I think this one's the chocolate factory, right? Hang on, can't see. Yeah. Sorry, beg any pardon. Oh, uh, hang on. What's that? No, that's not it. Uh, I mean, I could just put the map on, but that'd be a bit boring. Probably less boring for you, though, to be fair, if I actually put the map on, rather than just trying to figure out where it is. Because this is all the chocolate factory, yeah, the FT chocolate here. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll give up. We'll look at the map. The Echiti Chocolatier. Ah, Kasserai. I've sort of come the wrong way. Never mind. Take a left and a left again and we'll be there. No worries. But yeah, I'll have a look at contracts as well and maybe we'll start doing a bit of contracting just to uh, give us a bit of variety of activity while we're waiting for our grass to grow. Uh, we haven't got anything else to sell, I don't think. I don't think you started with any crops or anything. I'll have a look. Here we go, look. Here's the cat. I knew the buildings are fairly similar. Uh, can we get in this way? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, can we? Uh, uh, no. Oh, 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 that's not good. I've ended up inside the building. <laughs> uh, okay, we can't get in this way. Definitely come the wrong way. Now we need to just find the tractor again. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? There we go. Uh, right, now this will be interesting because I've got a turny, a turny wheels trailer. Mm hmm. Probably killing a few pedestrians or causing a major collision or something. Ah, oh, it wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. So I think the next, the exit, the entrance is actually around the next roundabout. So let's take a spin around here. Uh, oh, uh, no, it isn't. Hang on, hang on. Is it? Can we get down there? 
No, pedestrians only. Right, so basically we've come at the building from completely the wrong direction. That's basically what we're saying right now. Oh well, there you go, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, hang on. No, that's a car park. I was going to say there's an entrance. That's a car park, that's pretty cool. So you know what, it looks like the entrance is right around the other side. Basically, if I'd have gone the right way to start with, we'd have found it really, really easily. But no, that would just have been too easy. This is where we find out I've completely picked totally and utterly the wrong trailer to attempt to do this. Because all we need to do then is also find the cell point. I'd have been much better off bringing the... Uh, oh, a... Bringing the... Um, the lizard, the other lizard trailer. The, oh, heck. Come on. Suddenly there's collisions. This is not good. We are a little bit stuck. Right, give me a minute. Oh no, we're okay. Where's the cell point then? Or have I just driven past it? Actually, clearly not. Because if I'd just driven past it, it would have come up. This is very strange. Fine, I give up. You win. Uh, tag. Where's the bleeding cell point? Seriously, I've just driven past that. Okay, you know what we're going to achieve? It's just driving me nuts. I kind of figured it'd be near the main entrance. It's nowhere near the main entrance at all, totally and utterly whatsoever. And there's nothing here to tell you that that's the cell point. That's, I mean, yeah, okay, I, I could have looked it up on the map, but that's a little bit annoying, I have to say. But hey, we got it. Ooh, great demand at the chocolatier. Oh, wow, look at that. Right, let's get this done. Quick run back up to the farm. Awesome. And that's not bad either, is it? Anyway, 15,000. Right, yeah. Run up to the farm. Right, experience now tells me that I should probably do this. Okay, this one's slightly more, more obvious. Though, because it does actually say warehouse. I assume that's what that means something. So yeah, this one's a slightly easier one to negotiate. Oh yeah, look. Goods in almost, right? Cool. So you know what? I think we're going to sell all of our milk because at over 2,000, that's, a, you know, I mean, they're all pretty close, but over 2,000, that's a really good price. And we're seriously going to get our money back up here. We were down at 60 something odd. That's really good. What, did the, what difficulty am I playing on? Oh, easy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That explains it. Right. Let's go grab the rest. Well, this was going to be a quick run, but never mind. The train's quite short. It doesn't take long to clear. So. Yeah, no, it's in nearly another full tank, 6,775 litres, not to be sniffed at, will take us nicely over 100 grand. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, so it's the end of the episode. As I said, I'll, um, I'll finish off the day. Um, I'll uh, take the other tanker down and sell it just to get a little bit more money. I'll look at what other equipment perhaps we haven't used yet. Um, I'll probably... Maybe in the next episode, if there's some good harvest contracts. Have we got some good harvest contracts? Sorry, wrong way. Bailing, fertilising, cultivation. Not yet. It's just a bit early, isn't it? Do some fertilising. Got the stuff. Um, it's a bit dull, though, because that's kind of what I'm doing on the map already. 13,910, 112,666. Of course, only early summer. So it's a little bit too early to be doing... Um, Harvesting, sorry, should have thought that, that's a bit dumb, uh, but fine. So, um, see, so yeah, I'll take a look down the roster, see if we can find something. If not, maybe I'll just work through a day. I'll, I'll do something, a bit of contracting, whatever, just to blast through a day um, until our grass is ready to harvest and we'll see what we can do with it, what uh, perhaps we haven't already used. Or maybe we'll just buy a field and do something else, or do some more grass work on another field just to see another area of the map, or something. 
I'll have a think. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated. As always, feel free to share. Don't forget to hit the bell notification if you're new and you haven't done so yet, so you know when I'm putting a video out. And uh, otherwise, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.